Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. In this video I will be talking about ANK Audio Note Kits and uh, Audio Note, which is a different company, and then uh, Snell, which is also a completely different sound uh, and company. So <clears throat> we've got Audio Note here, we've got Snell here in this other picture, and here we have Audio Note Kits uh, homepage. I don't really know how this happened, but the two different companies, Audio Note Kits and then the the real stuff, Audio Note. And I have no idea why Audio Note Kits are selling themselves as being Audio Notes because sound-wise they don't really have anything to do with each other. Um Audio Note Kit is basically a Chinese copy version of a lot of stuff that uh, Audio Note does, and if you look at it, you know the the transformers, the caps, the resistors, basically everything in, in these Audio Note kits, um, pieces of gear that exist, they, they aren't the same. They aren't the same um, components that are used. They aren't um, manufactured to the same level of quality they don't even use the same cables <laughs> so um very weird um but but yeah i actually had the opportunity to listen to the uh, audio note kit speakers and uh, i have to tell you guys this is probably one of the the worst copies of uh, an, an, a real audio note speaker. This is a real audio note speaker. And then this is a copy. You can see when you look at the pictures that it's not the same cables. It's not the same uh, components. They don't even make the same exact same um, uh, cabinet as far as I know. Um, I think these are actually not sure about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it isn't the same, exact same cabinet. So, I've had the chance to listen to, to these two uh, different things. And um, the thing that kind of uh, strikes you when, when you listen to these audio note kit speakers is uh, how inaccurate they are and how much the left and the right channel are very different from each other not creating one whole uh, image the the speed the integration the balance the 3d the layering everything is is very different these sound like a do-it-yourself speaker they they sound more like the the old snells than they sound like uh, audio note and snell as you can see in the picture here are very different in sound compared to to audio notes uh, top line i would say snell are are so bad in sound that you can probably compare them to the the lowest audio note speakers uh then you would have a sound that's similar but still i think the lowest audio note speakers uh, i'm not talking about a and e or a and j i mean the the bottom series they they have a lot more similarity to the to the snells but i still think that the audio note uh, kind of beat the uh, the old snells because the snells are just closed in they're dark and they're really heavy to drive you have a bit of that british sound being repeated in the in the very smaller uh, modern audio notes at the very very lowest level but still you know audio note still is more sophisticated um i'm not crazy about the snell sound i mean i find it's i find it's it, it's charming you know it's it's this it's that kind of thing you want to listen to with a, a budget piece of transistor gear you know if, you, if you're buying a hundred or maybe even two two hundred buck um transistor amp techniques or sony or philips or whatever you know that really budget end type of sound and you want it to fit it on a on an old uh slightly warm sound then then fine 
then you get a lot of value. Then you can probably get a, a pair of snails for like 500 bucks uh, used or something like that. But going from the snails to the audio note E series, there's no comparison. It, it, it doesn't sound anywhere near the same. And um, if I were to rank the snell quickly here on a scale from 0 to 100, I would probably put them at around 10. If, if, if you look at the best snell speakers, around 10. And Audio Note E, I would put that around... I would say 7200 around 7200 depending on what e model that you that you choose so completely different um design components totally different efficiency the audio note um e's don't only need like two three four watts depending on what model it is and uh, the snells they need like 30 watts plus um to be driven so uh yeah, kind of kind of funny how that works and uh, personally i would I don't, I don't really like the the snells enough to really consider them and now also the problem with snell is that they're so old now that when you have a speaker that reaches 30 or 40 years of of, of age you get a lack of precision compared to when they were original so um you get a very distorted sound so that the left and right or right and left however you see it the left and right channel don't really match up anymore that you kind of lose the the effect of it all becoming one and integrated and it just becomes noisy heavy closed in limited it's just it's just not good so snell yeah it's one of those probably one of those good um, speakers that you get to start with but you kind of want to move away from that and i would even say that a fenderstein 1ci is a lot better than the uh, the snells the snells are just very, very boring very limited um let's just see where we are at here good so yeah obviously the price is very different from these kits compared to uh, the real stuff but just look at the components here i mean they're nowhere near the same also what you have to know is that the pairing of units that go on in these kits are not nearly as precise as uh, the ones that um, audio note do the thing that you don't necessarily um, see when a speaker gets made is that when they pair these units with each other they probably have like 100 200 300 units that they have to pair so they they kind of measure them all <clears throat> pair them and then they run it through a, an advanced machine that that kind of um, makes everything work together and a lot more harmonious. So that is the reason why Audio Note E, original Audio Note E speakers, are probably one of the most natural and accurate speakers that exist on the market because you have this left and right channel um, <clears throat> synchronization which which is within i think 0 0.2 or 3 on the normal models and then 0 0.1 i think on the uh, the highest models and you don't get that with other speakers on the market you don't get that level of precision and you also have to know that the um, the components that go into the speaker also are synced up in a, in a very special way so when you buy these kits and you do it yourself and you don't have um, a hell of a lot of experience or even if you do have some experience putting that together again it won't be nearly as clear in sound and integrated so you overall the sound is pretty limited and messy 
compared to the real thing. So I wouldn't even consider buying this if I had the chance. I, I was previously before I got my own speaker, I was considering buying this, but then I heard it used a couple of places in, in my country. And I just thought, what is this thing? It sounds nowhere near the same. And it just had this old, unevolved sound, a lot like the Snells. And um, it was just very disappointing, very disappointing. And um, I also had the chance to listen to some audio notes. Kit gear, what was it? I think I listened to a... Um, I think it was uh, one of these. I think it was this one. Listen to an uh, audio note kit. 4.1 limited edition now that seems very cheap and it's it's far cheaper than the uh, the audio the original audio note I think the original audio note probably costs like 10 times this amount <laughs> but <clears throat> the sound was very different very very different this was very <clears throat> forgiving in sound very limited um, with very much a, a lower level of, of warmth yeah, if I had to place that sound from 0 to 100 um, I would probably set it to around 25 where the original one that I've heard several times I would set it to about 70, 75 <clears throat> That's a huge difference. The The audio note kit down here was very much um, limited, lower level warmth, and the, um, the audio note one was just, it was just a, a totally different animal. So it was a lot more layered, a lot more clear in sound. You could go really deep into the sound stage and you could just keep on building on that momentum where down here we're basically in Macintosh territory um, I would say we're not even into ear ter territory which is like up here like with everything that I heard with with audio note kits I'm also talking about the amplification, especially the pre-amplifiers. <laughs> the pre-amplifiers just are nowhere near, mm, sorry, I'm trying to find myself. <laughs> um, the pre-amplifiers are like down here in, you know, in PS Audio, Macintosh, maybe ear, uh, territory sound. With the audio note pre-amplifiers that are at the lowest level, they're, they're like here. So that, that kind of tells you something about the quality. And I would say that looking at the, um, the transformers that they're using, in these um, <clears throat> this gear here, I would say that um, one single transformer from an uh, an, an audio note uh, preamp would usually cost more than I think I think more than this this and this thing combined if you take all the parts together. So again, it kind of explains why things are so far apart from each other. And I have no idea how they got away with just calling themselves audio note kit. Because as far as I know, uh, they aren't, re they don't really have any, any, um, any things in, in, in common other than the casings are black. They're similar shape. They don't really have the same knob, um, function and look outside I think they may have the same 
RCA plugs, and that's basically the what they have in common. Um, the resistors and caps and transformers and electrolytes and many other components that Audino Kit uses are at such a low level that I would say there are generally, if you have to rate them from zero to 10, I would say that they go at around two or three throughout all the designs that they use. And audio note, yeah, audio note is audio note. So they go from probably three to 10, depending on um, what models that you choose from, from audio note. So I would say, I haven't heard this yet. I've only heard like one or two of these uh, DAX from audio note kit. I would say, I would even dare and say that the level of sound from a DAC 5.1 signature is about the same level of a standard audio note 2.1 DAC. Maybe the, the audio note, the original audio note 2.1 would beat this, maybe. But um, it kind of tells you something about the, uh, the quality. And I'm not sure what kind of cable this is. This looks almost like fruit. I have no idea what that is. Um, also, these caps here, they don't look anything like audio note. I just find that hilarious. What's the price? I mean, they do seem pretty, pretty damn good well-priced audio note kits um and when you look at it on the surface it, it looks like you've got the the audio notes caps here but like everything is just kind of different with the audio note kit so i have no idea why they're doing this also mundorf as far as i know audio note doesn't use uh, mundorf parts um yeah i think this is the only thing they really have in common the rca plugs hmm, they say that they use tantalum resistors i have a hard time believing that but you also have to take into consideration that um as far as I know, the, the parts that are used in these audio note kits aren't at the same level, meaning that there are a lot of parts that audio note themselves um, throw away because they don't live up to to their their high demands on, on, on perfection. So if you have some resistors that aren't quite up to the precision standard uh, that audio note uh, usually deliver, they'll probably uh, dis throw them away and instead of just like throwing them out they might even up i'm not sure how it works but they might even sell it to this company or this company might try and and, and sell it off them uh, cheaply that that's just me guessing but um i just find it hilarious you know because um i was really shocked how um how it sounded nothing like the original audio notes and especially the higher levels of audio, you know, it, it doesn't come anywhere near this. And if you look at the transformers here, I mean, it looks like something from Torhaug. <laughs> it, it, it just, it, it's nowhere near the, um, the same quality of, of, of audio. You know. I would even, I would even say that if you took the resistors of a mid-class audio note, um, preamp DAC or whatever and you count it you know the uh, the actual price of, of getting a hold of those parts original parts I would even guess that those resistors would cost more than this 5.1 DAC would cost to to uh, to buy in of parts um, because as far as I can see the transformers that are used here are like the most basic transformers that you can that you can get in in China or places like that, 
and um, yeah, I just find it hilarious. But yeah, I mean, you still have a lot of good value uh, with Audio Note Kit. You know, if, if you ever want to buy your first amp, like uh, I would say, yeah, go for um, just just go with some kind of Audio Note Kit um, top model. You know, go with the most expensive stuff that they have. And then um, find a DAC for Audio Note Kit, and then go with the most expensive, expensive one that they have. And then um, speaker. I'm not sure I would recommend these speakers because they're quite far from the original. But th that's a pretty good starter sound, you know, like like a good budget starter sound. Th that would actually satisfy me uh, if I went back in time and listened to this. That would be a really good starter sound for for Tube, what it has to offer uh, in the budget end. And then later on, if you want something that's a lot more evolved, then try and, you know, probably get close to some gear that's um, audio note, original audio note level 3 gear. Then you will suddenly go up to a, a whole other different class of, of sound. And then maybe later, if you could afford it, then uh, of course <laughs> level five sound from from Audio Note. But that would be like three gigantic jumps in in sound. But I, I I would I would dare to say that even the most basic original auto amplifier would probably beat all of these um, amplifiers that you can see here. Um, I, I, would, I would think so. I, I would really, uh, I would really think so. But, but yeah, it, it's a nice starter sound, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice do it yourself starter sound. And it's also fun for when you want to start putting stuff together. That is kind of the, the whole, idea of um, of doing this you know buying it cheap receiving it putting itself uh, together listening to it it's it's but I would still say that it, you could get a, a sound that's more evolved by just going to an, an old 15 year old um, used ear tube amplifier you know and, and I, I think I'd rather do that instead of this because that would have the ability to cut through a bit more and probably have a bit more drama and, and clarity where this is just like like you know too too much of a lower level warmth for me personally but uh, a lot like the um, the Snell situation here you know the quality of components that they use inside the different type of cabinets um, treble was net anywhere near the treble of, of of the uh, of the audio note driver here the same just a very unprecise um lower level warmth um sound from snell so yeah that is how it works with audio note kit audio note and snell they're three completely different things and uh, if you want the best audio note is the best and um yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to leave a like and uh, subscribe.